Hey guys, I'm gonna go over the passage 5b section 1. Um, that was your homework worksheet. So in this passage, um, Sallust is talking about Lentulus, who goes to the Allobroges, which are um, a Gallic tribe. Um, Gaul is a region in, of modern-day France. That's what the Romans called France. Um, and anyway, Catiline sends Lentulus to try to get the Allobroges to be part of his conspiracy to take over Rome. Um, so that's what this section is. So we have, all right, Eastem Temportibus. Um, so at the same time, um, that's an adult of time. Um, Lentulus of Rome, um, Sicuti Catilinae Precepirat, um, just as Catiline had ordered or instructed, Precepirat is pluperfect, um, and then our main verb in this sentence is solicitabat, so Lentulus of Rome was um, rousing up or inciting um, uh, those um, uh, quoscumque, uh, whoever, uh, whomever, I'm sorry, so it's accusative, so it has to be whomever um, as an object. Whomever credebat he was believing, and that's us off an indirect statement, whomever he was believing to be idoneos, um, suitable to um, novis rebus, revolution, or new things. Um, so he was inciting whoever he believed to be suitable to revolution, either through himself or through others. So per se, through himself, or per alios, through others. Igitur um, Publius, uh, or Publio Umbreno, quidam negotium dat. Uh, therefore, he gives the, like, business or job um, to a certain, um, quidam is a certain, to a certain Publius Umbrenus, um, uh, so he gives him a certain job, um, and then we have a, an ut with a subjunctive, and this is a, a purpose clause, gives him the, a job to um, requirat, um, to seek out legatos, um, the ambassadors alibrogum, that is genitive plural, of the alibroges, um, and impelat to um, persuade them, eos is accusative plural, to persuade them um, ad uh, societatem belli, to a um, alliance of war or a fellowship. A, yeah, alliance. Um, Skiebat enem. Indeed, he was thinking, or Lentulus, that's our subject, Lentulus indeed was thinking that, and that sets up an indirect statement, the Allobroges, that's our accusative subject of the indirect statement, that the Allobroges, um, in our infinitive here, the first infinitive is oppressos, and the essay has been left out of this perfect passive infinitive. Um, he was thinking that the Albroges were oppressed publicly and privately by debt. So publicae, publicly, privatem, privately. Um, are alieno is an ablative of means um, by debt. Um, and he was believing uh, that uh, gentum gallicam, that's our accusative subject, that the Gallic people 
um, essays or infinitive were bellicose or warlike um, natura by nature. That's an ablative of respect. Um, bellicose in respect to nature. Um, existimabat igitur, he was thinking therefore, um, fore ut, that it would happen that, um, aducerentur, um, so that is a imperfect passive subjunctive, um, that they would be led easily, facile is an adverb, would be led easily into or to such counsel, ad tale concilium, to such a plan. Um, Umbrenus, uh, so it's the Publius Umbrenus guy that Lentulus has sent to the Allobroges. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, What, or because he had um, done business in Gaul, um, quod in Gallia negotiata serdat, so the negotiata serdat is the uh, pluperfect um, indicative, and negotior is a deponent, so that is active in meaning, um, passive in form. Um, because he had done business in Gaul, um, and then our next verb is we have this notus erat, he was known. Um, he was known plerisque principus civitatem by, um, he was known by a majority of the princes or the, the rulers of the states. And the civitatem there is just referring to all the states in Gaul. Um, any a state is like a, any sort of a, uh, city, right? And atque um, noerat eos. He um, knew them as well. So all the Allobroges know um, Umbrenos and he knows them. That's why he's being sent as the ambassador. Itaque sine mora. Therefore, without delay, um, ubi primum legato sin foro speaks it um there was a note about something okay yeah so the ubi primum as soon as um conspakes it he had seen uh, or caught sight of legatos the um legates the ambassadors in foro in the forum or in the public square rogawit he asked um pauka a few things um day is concerning or about and it takes the ablative case um that's one of your questions i think so here we have a prepositional phrase de statu civitatis et misro eos casu um he asked a few things about the state of the city uh, or the um don't want to say state of the state um the status of the state maybe the state of the union, I don't know, um, the status of the state and the, and it's, the aeus is referring to the kiwitatis, um, genitive singular, feminine, um, and it's misro kasu, and it's, some um, wretched fortune. Um, postquam, afterward, uh, weed it, illos, he, saw them, um, and that sets off in a direct statement, or he saw that they, so the illos is the accusative subject of the indirect statement, he saw that they query, um, that they, um, complained de auritia magistratuum, about the avarice of the magistrates. Um, he saw that they accusare, it's another infinitive and indirect statement, that they um, were 
accusing the Senatum, the Senate, um, which um, nothing of help because in it there is nothing of aid um, so that's the quote in eo nihil auxilii auxili um, esit um, miseriis suis remedium mortem expectare um, and he saw that they um looked for a cure of death for their wretched selves. Um, and then here we have direct speech inquit. He said, at ego, but I, um, and then we have wovis, which is accusative. Um, uh, it's not accusative. Oh. An I to you, um, dative. Accusative would be wolves, because I'm an idiot. And he's, and I say, but I say to you, si modo weirdi esse wultis, if you wish, um, uh, to be men now, uh, ostendam, I will show rationum, a reason, wovis, to you. But I, yeah. So that whole part, he said, but I, if you wish to be men now, I will show you uh, a reason, or a, um, yeah, a reason, qua, by which, it's ablative feminine, um, sets off a, I'd say this is a indirect question by which you um, may effugiatis um, flee uh, tanta istamala such bad things these so bad things um, and hike Ubi dixit. Um, when he said these things, albroges, the albroges, in maximum spem aducti, and then the aducti is the um, perfect passive participle, having been led in maximum spem into the greatest hope. Um, orare, so that is a historical infinitive. So we translate it like an indicative. Um, the Allobroges, having been led into much hope, um, asked Umbrenos, uh, or begged Umbrenos, that he uh, that he take pity on them. So misere or is deponent and takes a genitive. That's why the sui is genitive. And that's the reflexive, so take pity on them, that he take pity on them. So the ut there with the subjunctive misereretor um, is subjunctive as a indirect command because we have orare. Um, okay. And then we're still... Nihil tam de facile esse. Um, nothing, there was nothing so difficult. Um, quod non factori essent, which they would not do. Um, ut, uh, so that, so this is a result clause because we had the tam. There was nothing so difficult that they would not do, which they would not do, 
Oh no, this is purpose. It's a trick. Um, so that they might um, free Kiwitatum, their state, are alieno, from debt. That is an ablative of separation. Um, so that they might free their state from debt. Ile, he, um, eos indomum quandam perducit, uh, leads them into a certain house, um, quae foro propinqua erat, which was near the forum. Propinqua is a, a um, adjective that takes the dative case near to the forum. Um, criteria, um, meanwhile, he Artacesit um, summons Gabienus. Um, and then here we have a new grammatical instruction, which we haven't gone over. Um, I'm going to make the video for 5B grammar later. Um, but just to start, um, quo plus the comparative and subjunctive is a type of purpose clause. So um, that's what we have here. Um, so these will be um, quo maior actoritas ceremoni inesit um, so that there be greater authority in his speech and quo facilius et is persuaderet, so that he um, might more easily persuade them. Um, and then we have Gabino, I'm sorry, Gabinio uh, Presente, it's an ablative absolute with Gabienus present, Coniorationem Aperit. He reveals the conspiracy. Nominat socios, he names the allies. Praeterea mutos inaxios. Um, uh, and many innocents, um, many innocent people. Sorry, I just need to. And moreover, many innocents. Um, and then we have another one of these uh, purpose clauses with quo plus the comparative. Quo legatis animos ampleor esset. So that the um, spirit or animus, the animus, might be more, might be greater for the ambassadors, for the legates. Um, yeah. Yeah, so he names the allies, um, and besides them, many innocents, so that the spirit or the courage might be more, might be greater for the, for the ambassadors. Persuasit aes, he persuades them, um, or he urges them to polikerentor, to promise, operam, effort. Um, so that's a uh, indirect command, ut with the subjunctive, and a persuasive com commanding word. Diende polikitos operam suam domam dimetit. Then, um, Demitted, he sends away Polikitos, those having promised um, Operam Suam, their own effort, Domum, to his house, to his home. Okay, um, I forgot to go over the answers, so I'll just do that real quick. So, number one, 
Um, Eastem Comportibus is an abolib of time. Number two, Esse is infinitive in line 60 because it's in an indirect statement set off by Cordadebat. Um, and Quidam is dative singular. Um, Alibrogum is genitive plural masculine. Um, Uriquerat, um, line 62, um, is third singular subjunctive active present. Um, and Skiebot, the subject is. Um, Lentulus is the subject because he's not omitted. Um, and then, yes, the number seven, oppressos, accusative, plural, masculine, um, because it agrees with the albroges. Um, and number eight, adulcarentor is third, plural, imperfect. Subjunctive passive. Um, number nine, statu and casu are ablative because they're in a prepositional phrase. Number ten, effugiatis is second plural present subjunctive active. Um, number eleven, spem is accusative because it is the object of in, so prepositional phrase. Um, number twelve, Adulti, the participle, is nominative plural masculine, perfect passive. Um, number 13, type of subjunctive clause, ut misertor, is indirect command. Um, number 14, liberarent, um, that is third plural imperfect subjunctive active. Um, number 15, subjunctive clause, ut polycadentor, um, that's indirect command, um, and then polycitos is masculine, plural, accusative, perfect deponent. Okay. And I will post the grammar for 5b later, either tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, please let me know if you have any questions.